Hey everyone! Today we're building an adorable pastel pink cottage with Lily Pie's new resource pack. This house is great for nether or enchanting heavy survival plays, but as always, you can adapt the interior to your needs. By the way, only about 9.9% .9 of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed, so if you end up liking my content, please consider subscribing. With that being said, let's get into it. Yeah, so we're just gonna... run away. The dimensions of this house are 13 by 13 by 14 blocks, and it's mostly made of mushroom stem, mangrove wood, and bricks. I gotta say, I think the bricks are probably my favorite item in this pack. That are the furnaces. I think the pink is just like, so... It's obviously pink, but still kind of subtle, if you know what I mean, and like, I think it works really, really well. A lot of the items with this pack still have the same vanilla textures, but most of the new textures are very pastel cottage core like these pink bricks. I'll have a link down in the description below so you can check out the video she made, kind of going over all the new items she added, so you can see the ones that I miss in this build. Once you finish replacing the floor, we're going to fill in the outline with mushroom stem. We're going to do this for three blocks tall. For these two sections, we're stacking two rows of bricks and one of mangrove planks. All of the mean walls will have this same shape. The first row is five blocks, then two rows of three and two stacked on top. I wasn't a huge fan of the glass that was available for this build, so I went ahead and added the framed panes pack, and these are the white stained glass panes, but I'll also be using light gray stained glass and magenta stained glass. I'll have this texture pack linked in the description below as well. I've always been a fan of mosaic or stained glass windows, so I knew that I had to add them here. To add a little bit of variety, we're going to mix some quartz blocks into the mushroom stem walls of the tower. All of the roof materials, apart from the tower, will be mangrove wood. Crimson wood would also be a good choice here, because in this pack it's just a slightly more saturated pink, but I wanted to go with the really light pastels for this one.
For those of you who want to build this house in Mizuno's or vanilla, I'll make a community post on the channel to show kind of how it looks as it is, and then if and what I would recommend replacing to make it look better with those textures. I've been trying to take my tutorials a little bit slower, especially when it comes to like roof connections, because I know that can be kind of confusing. But this one's actually super simple. We're just going to kind of connect the blocks since we made the same basic wall shape on all the sides. So like I mentioned, since it's the same on all of the sides, I just kind of skipped doing that very front section, but here's how we connect it in the back. To add a little bit more interest to the build, we're going to surround the walls with birch fence gates and birch fence posts. I like the look of the gates, but you'll need to use posts to connect the corners. So many subtle, adorable vibes with this pack, like the strawberry on the door is so cute. Making pathways and just general yards is probably one of the things that I'm weakest at, but for this block I'm using the dispensers. I think it has a really cute like small stone pathway feel. So first, just bring these pillars all the way up to the roof. Then we're going to fill in this whole wall to kind of make an enclosed section here that will turn into storage in just a bit. I 
Another pack that I had added was turning alliums into lavender, and I think it's probably my favorite thing ever. I'm thinking I'm definitely gonna have to make a whole like lavender purpley cottage. One thing I will say about this pack, um, two things I kind of dislike, the double chests are actually broken within this pack. I know on the Discord someone had mentioned that and I mentioned that I saw it too. Uh, so this is just another texture pack for chests placed on top of that to fix it for this. But I know that this is relatively new and they're mentioning um, doing a whole bunch of updates so I'm excited to see where this goes and what they end up making in the future. Make sure to add some sort of light source in there so you don't get bat spawning. The barrels are another thing that I'm not the biggest fan of, but I do think the color is cute. And the paintings are probably my favorite thing. I know I've called like six different things my favorite things so far, but I have a lot of favorite things. Now this is going to be our enchanting section, and yes, with this configuration, you should be able to get maximum enchants. For those of you with access to my world downloads, I've been leaving cute little messages on the books on these lecterns, so be sure to check those as you're exploring. Well, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'd like to say a special thank you to our patron and invite all of you guys to join our Discord server where I pop in almost every day to chat. Until next time.